Hello YouTube! <laughs> Thanks for watching my very first um, YouTube video. Uh, my name is Samantha Gilpin and I am a brand manager with Red Aspen. Um, if you're not quite sure what Red Aspen is, we are the first social selling lash company um, in network marketing. So we have, I think we currently have 12 um, different lash options that are silk and foam ink. Um, we have um, a brow pencil that comes in four shades and then also an ink eyeliner. Um, today I'm actually going to be talking about tips and tricks on how to successfully clean your falsies so that you can lengthen the number of times that you can wear them. So you're going to lengthen the life of your falsies. Um, so basically I'm just going to show you what I do. Um, I actually, when I went to go put on lashes this morning, I had one option because I <laughs> failed to clean my falsies um, this week. So um, basically what I um, what I use to clean um, my lashes with is a um, eye makeup remover. It is 100% oil free. It doesn't matter what brand you use. Um, you just have to make sure that it is 100% oil free um, because you definitely you don't want to be cleaning your lashes and you know getting oils and stuff on your eyes. So as you can see, I'm just using um, a store brand, a Dollar General brand eye makeup remover. And so my lashes to kind of speed up this video, I have already grabbed a bowl. And as you can see, my lashes are in there. I don't want to turn it too far, um, but I, I basically, all I did was I, I set my lashes in there. Um, at this point, I think I have one, two, I have four different um, styles in here, ones I knew that I could differentiate from. And so I just took my makeup remover and squirted it in the bowl, and I let my falsies sit um, in the eye makeup remover for about 30 minutes. Um, so that we really get um, the adhesive, make sure it's soaking, um, any um, residual like mascara that might be on the falsies. I really wanna make sure that it soaks and gets it off. Um, so I can see after sitting for about 30 minutes, um, I can see some of the mascara kind of floating um, in the um, makeup remover. So basically what I do, um, I make sure that I have all my tools handy so I've got my eye makeup remover, and then I use just a typical um, tweezer so that um, I can gently pull any of that adhesive off of there. So I'm gonna pick up one of my lashes. So as you can see, let me see, we'll grab it there. Um, these have a flexible cotton band. So they're super, super comfy, but they're also super delicate, you guys. Um, so when I pull it out of the bowl, I kind of just gently work my fingers um, through the length of the lashes and just gently like apply a little pressure to make sure that um, I'm working the makeup remover in there and making sure I'm getting out any residual makeup. And I don't know if you guys can see there, but there is some residual um, mascara. And I have a towel on my lap um, so I can kind of wipe it as I clean. Um, but there on the band, so you can kind of, you can take your, your thumb and your pointer finger and just gently kind of um, rub the band and a lot of the adhesive I don't know if you guys can see that the adhesive will come off um, but it definitely it's going to give your lashes a longer lifeline um, so depending on the style that um, you choose you should be able to get anywhere from three to ten wears out of your lash if you are um, caring for them properly so if you're cleaning them after you wear them um, you're using the eye makeup remover to um, remove them from your eye and then storing them um, in the cute little container uh, that they come in so that the lashes keep their shape. Um, you know, they're protected from, you know, outside. Um, I mean, I like my lashes are all here at my makeup table, so there's not any extra um, makeup getting on the lashes or anything like that. 
So I've kind of rubbed and used my fingers to get what I can. Occasionally you'll have some of those more difficult areas that might have a little extra adhesive on them. Um, so you can take the tweezers and just kind of um, gently, really gently grab pieces of the adhesive. So remember, this is a cotton band, so they are super delicate. Um, but your tweezers will help you get any of those tougher areas where the um, adhesive just isn't isn't budging just by soaking. Um, so that lash is pretty well, it is clean. So I will kind of just, I can't really show you because the towel is on my lap, but I'll just put it on a clean, dry towel or washcloth and just gently pat it on there so that we can get all of the eye makeup remover off so that it is nice and dry and clean. It's pretty easy, pretty easy. So then I will just take it. This is my girl Rosie. And so I'm telling you guys, I legit, I, I wore every, every lash <laughs> this week. So then I just get her little storage container. Um, and you'll, you'll make sure, it's easier to tell once you have them, the outside corners are a little bit longer on most of the lashes than the inner corner. Um, so then when you store them, you can make sure you put them on the correct spot so that when you go to wear them the next time, they're ready to go. Um, so there, that is, that is the extent of what I do. I'm gonna clean the rest of these lashes, but I wanted to make this quick video um, because I know a lot of my friends and customers have asked, well, how do you clean them? So it's super easy. Um, again, I'm Samantha Gilpin, a brand manager with Red Aspen. Thank you for watching. Um, if you find this video useful, I would love it if you would share it. Um, but I will see you next time. Bye.